Hi, I'm James, and today we're working on this, which is the Lenovo IdeaPad 330 14iGM laptop. And to get started, we are going to go around the base and just remove all the screws. Uh, all the screws are exposed on this and the same size, so we can just quickly go around and get those taken out. There are quite a few, uh, considering this is a relatively recent laptop. So it will just take a moment to get them all removed. This particular model comes without an optical drive, but does include a dummy bay here. So we will take that out as well. Just removing a single screw here. And we can see this is just a filler panel with no drive caddy or connector. You could possibly fit a drive in there, but you'd have to because there are screw mounts, but you'd have to fit a cable in to connect it, so as is, it's not useful. But with all the screws now removed, with this machine it is a little bit tricky to see the lip to separate the two halves, but we are going to take our plastic pry tool so to separate the two sections, we then take our pry tool and we want to find the seam here and then push down and it should push in. Uh, make sure you use a plastic pry tool, not something metal because we do not want to cause any damage to the chassis. We can then work this along the side. I prefer to go to the side with the optical drive first. as much of that as possible then move over to the other side and run it along past the ports it's again just releasing as much as we can then we are going to turn the machine over take hold of it on the side by the optical bay and then lift towards the ports so that we clear those. Once inside we can see this particular model has no fan, uh, just a heatsink and heat pipe arrangement. Here we have the hard drive and the memory sits under this shield. First of all however we are going to disconnect the battery. So we are going to remove the battery. Um, if you want to replace the battery it is a L17L2PF1 type battery. And with that three screws removed, we can then lift the battery and gently pull the battery cable to unplug it and lift that out of the way. To change the memory module, we then have this cover here, which is held on by these little metal clips and we again can just gently lift that off and there is a single dim slot here we can pull the two edges to release that and refit it by placing it back in at that angle and pressing down so it clips into place the reason that we're here however is for the hard drive today so with this uh, it's made a little easier by removing the battery because it means we uh, have a bit more access around this SATA cable. Uh, it shouldn't be necessary to remove it, but just to pull this up and then slot the drive out. We can then take our SSD and fit it into the caddy. We pull this rubberized caddy out. Take our SSD and line up little fitting bot into the screw holes, take the SSD and slot it in and press it down into place. With that done we can then refit the battery 
refit the RAM cover. Put the screws back into place. and reconnect the battery with this cable. Removing the battery wasn't really necessary, just showing how to do that and also it just made it a little easier to unplug. With that done, we now simply take the base of the laptop and line it up again. I like to start on the port side, then turn the laptop over and press the base back down so that it all clips back into place. This SSD was cloned from the original drive uh, so it retains all the data. You may however choose to do a clean install onto the new drive and I do have videos showing both how to do that, creating Windows 10 USB installer or cloning the drive with true image and a USB caddy. But I hope you found this video useful. All that's left to do now is to replace the screws on the back of the laptop and enjoy our new SSD. If you've got any questions, do just post them below and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.